So sickle cell disease was originally found in 1910, and at that time it was noted under the microscope that the cells looked funny. They looked sickle shaped and that's how they first understood sickle cell disease. It was all about the hemoglobin becoming distorted and rigid when there wasn't enough oxygen in the blood. The major complications experienced by people with sickle cell disease are many. The hallmark complications are anemia and pain, but people with sickle cell disease experience a host of other complications as well, including increased risk of infections, stroke is common, pulmonary hypertension, acute chest syndrome, which can be life-threatening, priapism, gallstones, and the list goes on and on. In childhood, we worry a lot about the brain. There can be a, a stroke like old people would ordinarily get. There can be uh, damage that's silent. They don't have a sudden event, but they can have small areas of the brain that are damaged and can lead to uh, limited ability sometimes to do well in school and have other challenges. As kids enter adolescence, into their teenage years, one can start to see some wear and tear in the kidneys uh, and some wear and tear in the lungs, uh, such that they end up with, uh, ultimately in adulthood, as they enter their 40s and 50s, some pretty bad chronic lung damage leading to a condition called pulmonary hypertension. And about 10% of people will end up on dialysis because of damage to the kidneys. In a normal person with normal hemoglobin, the red blood cells lives on our body for about 120 days. In a patient with sickle cell disease, their red blood cells live for about 10 days. So they're rapidly breaking down and building new cells, and that causes two problems. One is as they break down their cells, they release free hemoglobin, which is very toxic in the blood, causes a lot of inflammation. The other thing that happens is the new cells that are made, reticulocytes is the name of a new red cell, are big sticky cells. And those induce inflammation and stickiness as well. And that really is a big part of what causes these organ complications. 